Hello real world spectators, my name is Rain and welcome to another video log of my life on the Isekai realm. This is video log number 18 and today we start out at this disaster zone created by a creeper that snuck up on me when I was trying to record my intro. And remember the last time we already trapped that patrol over there in that boat? Well, we have some new visitors over here looking for me I would assume and I recall the last thing I said in my previous video log was that I will be working on bringing zombie Steve back to life in this video log and I did tell everyone to keep it a secret so I'm not sure how they found out but they're looking for me so before they can be disruptive to my plans I'm going to capture them in boats like I usually do all right come on in come 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 guy there we go all right now we need to get this vindicator who is apparently the patrol captain this time, which is a little bit strange. I've never seen a Vindicator be a patrol captain before. Alright, come. Come up. Alright, there we go. These guys do a lot of damage, so I have to be careful. Oh, no, 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 no! He didn't go in. He didn't go in. Alright, I think I need to fly off. They do take off a lot of life. Alright, come, guy. Here, I have some food here. Would you like some of this or... No, yeah, okay. Let me just run towards the boat and jump. Okay, he is following me. <laughs> That's a lot of life. Alright, okay. Yeah, it seems he ended up in the boat. Great. For those who don't know, I once went to a pillager's outpost to read it and I found a book written by someone called LPD5. And ever since I took it away, I've had pillager patrols come at me very frequently. I'm not sure if it's related, but I'm just assuming. Anyway, I'll let those guys be in that boat over there. And let's come in here where we um, last worked on in the last video log. We, we actually fixed this entire room up. This area with the chandelier, with the light fixtures. And there's something very important. Well, not very important, but something I really want to show you that I've been working on behind the scenes. And we have to go all the way at the top where I have this. I have a collection of C418 vinyl records that I've been collecting because I like to collect things. <laughs> well, I, I, I thought it would be a good idea for me to use my personal space up here in the castle to set these out and have a personal collection of stuff that, you know, are basically rare to get. And I, I, like, I have an entire chest full of other records too that I've been getting from creepers that are killed by skeletons and let me show you how I do this so that very dark space that I already said I will be using to build my storage system well it spawns a lot of mobs down here and a lot of creepers let me get rid of these strings it's really annoying to have in my inventory right now and oh it's you, you see this hole I don't think you can see that hole that I just let me get, uh, it's so dark in here I guess you can't see anything I need to get a torch. Let's see. Let me fly up and get that one. Oop. Alright, so... Oh, I ended up getting this again. Okay, let me just grab this torch and head back down. Let's set it here. Alright, so you see this hole here? That's where I lure the creepers to fall into. And around here, I have a skeleton waiting to shoot at it. Uh, and also, well, I come at this side. So whenever there's a creeper down there, I go down there and perfect timing we do have a creeper over here so let, let me just show you instead of explain so what I do is lure the creepers and have them drop in this hole because of the oop that one didn't fall that one didn't fall so as I said I lure them in and because of the trap door they get tricked and they fall and then I enter in here and remove these blocks and when I do the skeleton notices me and starts to shoot in my direction but because the creeper is in the way the creeper gets hit instead and that's how I do it after the creeper dies I block the line of sight from the skeleton remove this block here and pick up my prize which is the record it's, it's always a random record and then I remove the block from there for the next time and then I pillar my way upward like this and then just wait around for another creeper to ah! <laughs> oh my goodness so yeah, that's basically how I do it. You can easily make a farm out of it. Because I have a lot of spears and extras, what I'm going to do is move all of these from the chest here and put them inside of the shulker box. Because I think 
I should probably just, you know, give them away. I mean, spread the love of music to everyone who is on the realm. So what I intend to do is take this shulker box to somewhere public, most likely the shopping district or maybe inside of the airship. So let's go there and use one of these chests right here, fill it up with all of these records and then put a sign up and basically just give away these records for free. So whoever wants any of these records, they can just come here, open the chest, grab any record that they like and enjoy basically. So um, let's just see. We haven't sold anything. Yes, we 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 have sold one totem of undying so far. Uh, I don't have enough money to buy more pork chops, but basically I've been buying a lot, and it seems no one else has been selling any other type of food. Maybe I can use this one diamond to grab this this stack of kelp blocks here because I can use it for fuel. And whoops, yeah, nothing else has been selling here. Let me just grab this. All right, remember I said I was going to put some barrels behind here. Yes, I'm using it to store these kelp blocks because, well, this entire room is basically the portal room for the Guardian Farm. And because it's sea related, the ocean related, I decided to put the fuel sources in here as well. So, yep, that's what I have so far. And now that we're done with all of those minor things, let's move on to major things. Major plans like bringing Zombie Steve back to life. So let's, let's go ahead and move away from this castle for once <laughs> and go to the zombie spawner where I need to get myself a deviant zombie. Zoop! We're here now in the zombie grinder and I brought myself a dispenser with me because according to the instructions that I've read so far we need a deviant zombie and I don't think that will be difficult to find out here because we do have an iron door down here so what I'm going to do is actually set up somewhat of a little area here using that and we will be putting inside some armor some iron armor because well in order for this plan to work we need a zombie a deviant zombie that has iron armor on because the iron armor is what is going to conduct all the electricity from the lightning that is to strike it so yeah let's open up this area here and let some zombies out and we'll wait on the other side with the door L let me just where is it Okay, there it is. Let me just put this door here. So once the zombie tries to break down that door, we will know that it is a deviant zombie, right? Uh, so let me go all the way around. Okay, we're going through the skeleton grinder here. Because I do have an underground uh, area where we can move from this side towards the zombie grinder area. So here we go. This, this, I already had this path created from very earlier on. Just that I didn't really use it or show it much. Alright, here we are. This is where we have it. So we have the lever here. And we, we, we're, we're going to wait here to see if we have any zombies that come out that want to break this door down. And then we dispense onto them. Let's see. Okay. that Perfect. This is perfect. This is one right here. It's trying to break down the door. So what I'm going to do is um, maybe allow it to come in or let it break the door down i'm not sure but the point is we have to dispense the armor on it so let's try that all right the helmet has gone on oh no 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 the rest of the the rest of the armor seems to have gone on a different zombie all right so i went and cornered it and then dispensed a helmet on it so we have a full iron armored zombie and what i need to do is right up here completely block off the down elevator that way when the zombie comes up here, it doesn't go back down. It follows me out of this building. So let's go down and release the zombie and try to lure it into the up bubble elevator so that we can capture it inside of the containment cell or containment module that we built according to the specifications of LPT5's manual. All right, come, follow me. Is it, is it following? Uh, I don't see it coming up. I guess it stayed down there because it lost line of sight with me. Um, hmm. I guess I have to go back and try again. Alright, second try. Let's do this again. This time, let's try to get it in. Let's try to push it inside of the bubble column. Let's see. Oh, there it is. Waiting on me. Come. Um, 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 um. Ah! I think it still didn't follow me in. Alright, another try then. <laughs> All right, let's go. Oh, oh, oh! It was right there waiting on me on, at, at the down elevator. 
All right, I want. I don't want to hit it too much because I don't want it to die. Because it's well, I I guess the armor will protect it. Okay, let me move forward. Okay, push him in. Push, push. There we go. We got it. We got it. Let's go up. And let's try to lure him inside of the containment cell. Come on. Where is he? Where is he? Oh, oh there it is. Caught me off guard. Ooh. Oh, I can already tell this is going to be very difficult. Come up. Follow me. Yes, just like that. Let's go in. Inside here. I need to trap him in here. Come on in. So what I'll do is block this off quickly. No. Ah. This is going to take some time. Alright, after quite a lengthy amount of time, I finally managed to trap him in here. I just need to fix up some stuff that got broken and close this entire thing up. And now we have a trapped zombie, deviant zombie, inside of the containment module. So I do believe we have progressed a lot in getting this experiment done. What I need to do is pillar upwards a bit and finish it off by adding some extra parts up here. So we need to have... A dispenser up here right here the center of this capsule here this module is where something is supposed to be dispensed on something is supposed to happen right I'm not sure what it will look like but let me just get this lever here we need to put a lever on it because we will need to dispense a trident right at the center here what's up with that zombie <laughs> Uh, right at the center here we will need to dispense a trident when we have like particles fuming upward or something like that. I'm not sure how that will happen, but it will happen when it happens. So let's go on to the next step. And that step is for me to get a trident. So I've gotten a trident here. And what I need to do is enchant it with channeling. So I, I hope, hopefully I have inside of the storage units here, these shulker boxes. A channeling, okay, there we go. A channeling enchanted book. So uh, let's go ahead and use this anvil here to get the enchantment through. So... Please trident, please book and get channeling one trident. So let's fly on back to where the capsule is. And then inside of the dispenser, we should put the channeling one trident. Oop. All right, right in here. Okay, now all we have to do is wait for particles to start appearing here. I'm not sure when that will happen, but it should happen. So we'll wait to see if that happens. And then we can get the experiment officially started. Just to be sure, let's check the book here that LPT5 wrote and see how long it would take, more or less. Well, it does say about one to two days. Oops. <laughs> one to two days. So I do have time to get some other stuff done before the particles show up on top of the um, capsule. Right now, I have used all of my iron. So what I need to do is drop by Rasketron's place and buy some iron off of him. Fortunately, he wants to do a trade. It's been quite some time since I've come here and I really like the look of his biome, his frozen ocean. Is this Spode? No, no, it's not. It's some other spider. So I, I think, oh yeah, there he is. I see his name tag. Um, there's Rasketron at his iron farm. He wanted to trade some stacks of iron for some stacks of sea lanterns so that he can light up his place properly. The same way that I do it using the lanterns and the green carpets on top of it. So there we go. We have three stacks of lanterns. And in exchange, he plans to give me three stacks of iron bars, iron ingots. There we go. Thank you very much, Rasketron. I really do appreciate this transaction here. Rasketron also does help me out with my guardian farm by keeping it stocked with um, splash potions. Oh, I forgot. By the way, Rasketron, the guardian farm needs some splash potions of harming because it already ran out so can you please refill that for me i'd really appreciate it thank you very much all right before i forget i need to fly over to this area over here because i just remembered that i cured a zombie villager in here and he became a librarian that has the flame to enchantment and i really want to protect him so what i'm going to do is set down these rails here unpowered rails and then transfer him over to the plains village so that he can be safe. Alright, now I have to power these powered rails here using uh, a lever. Just like that. Then I'll remove this door, set down a minecart and try my very best to push him inside. If he's not being too stubborn. This librarian here, let's see. Um, 
Fire Fire Aspect 2. Oh, I said Flame 2. I meant Fire Aspect 2. That's it. That's what I want for my swords. Come on, guy. Don't make this difficult. Aww. I can't leave you here because it's going to be too dangerous when the experiment starts. Who knows what will happen? And I don't want him to be damaged at all. So Aww. let's push this. And there he goes. This rail system leads all the way to the plains village. So I can remove some of these and then meet him there at the end. All right, there he goes. And he made it successfully inside of the village. So I'm going to remove these from here and then cover it up back with the um with the fence post that was here initially all right there we go now i just need to remove this mine cart from under him and he's free to frolic about in his new home there we go i haven't given him a name yet but i'll get back to that later bye guy i need to get back to my experiment all right so i've already asked raskatron to join me in this experiment in case anything goes wrong so what i'm going to do is fly over to the area where we have the deviant zombie and we join raskatron who should be waiting there already for us and just to catch you up on what is going to happen is basically we're going to harness the power of lightning in order to make some changes to the zombie and hopefully bring him back to life so these zombies here are based on someone called steve apparently and what we're going to do is make him bring him back to life so cure him much like we cure zombie villagers in order to make them into villagers again but in this case this is something that has never been done before using a lot of lightning strikes to change this zombie back into steve all right there's raskatron okay raskatron is ready so we just have to wait until we have particles flying or showing at the top there and then we can get started. Alright, what we need to do next though is to remove all our armor. Um, that way we can, you know, remove negative variables that can affect this experiment. So that's what it mentioned in LPT5's book. So all we have to do right now is wait for those particles to show up. Then we can truly get started. <laughs> I'm not sure how much longer, but we'll wait until it actually shows up. Are we ready, Raskatron? Alright, let's do this. Okay, the sun is about to set, so that means it should be any minute now, so um, I think it's best for us to go up at the top. We do have some ladders here that lead at the top um, of this building here. And the particles should already be showing already. Come up, Raskachan. Oh, there, there it is, there it is. I, I think I see it. Oh, yes, yes, it's right there. Okay, let me pillar upwards. And I need to, in that same location where we have particles flying... Uh, we need to activate the um, dispenser to release the trident, right? So come up, come up, um, Raskatron, pillar upward so that we can get a good view of this happening because we really want to see what actually happens. I don't know where those particles came from, but the trident is in here, so we have everything set. And just as predicted, a new moon is coming out tonight, and that's perfect. So, whew, I'm a bit pumped for this. I'm, I'm nervous. Whoa! That's new. Okay, let me... I have to remove this dispenser from here now. Carefully. I'm not sure how that trident is... Oh, I fell, I fell. I'm not sure how that trident is even there. Let's remove our cobblestone pillars from here. Let's remove them. The trident is literally just levitating right there. That's... That's a very strange occurrence. What on earth is going on? All right, let's let's get a different vantage point from here. Let's let's move from here. Yes. Uh, wow, that's so odd. Okay, let yeah, let's let's go up here and wait until the new moon is an, in the center of the sky. All right, it should start any minute now. The the moon is already the new moon is already at the center of the sky. And whew, okay, let's see what will happen. I I think what should happen is that it should start a th a thunderstorm should start. Oh yes. Okay, there we go, there we go. It has started. Okay. Well, I don't hear... I don't see any thunder, so... Maybe, maybe it didn't work. It, it's just a regular rain. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, it, it's a thunderstorm. Um, what we need to do is look at... We need to observe carefully. So that... Um, to, to ensure that everything goes to plan. We don't have anything disrupting. So, if we can look around... Whoa. This is insane. It's almost like we summoned a thunderstorm. 
the, the, the trident is supposed to start going up, like hovering up higher into the sky, uh, but it's still in the same place. I'm not sure if it's working. What the? Are you seeing this, Rasketron? What? Is this caused by the, by, by, by the experiment? I w there's even baby ones. These look like horses and there's... Ooh, Rasketron, look out for the phantoms! No, 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 no! Ooh, ooh, he's not wearing any armor! Okay, Rasketron, let's move from here. I'm not sure what's up with these zombie-looking horses, but uh, we, we can't let it distract us. Oh, there comes the phantom again. Try to kill it, try to kill it! Okay, there we go. Ooh, that was frustrating. I think we should just wait up here and monitor the trident and wait for it to rise. All right, well, it definitely is working as you can see here. It, it looks a little small from here, a little too small. So what I'm going to do is move from there and get a better vantage point where I can see it better, right? So let me just pillar up with these cobblestone blocks here. And from this rooftop, maybe I can monitor it. It just stopped. It just stopped in the middle of the sky not moving now let me get rid of this phantom here yes oh no it fell but there was no lightning what what's going rasketron what's going on back there rasketron let me put on my armor quick just to be safe rasketron it looks like they're pillagers let me hurry go over there and see what's going on I definitely was sort of expecting pillagers to come by. Yo, whoa! That, that's more than just a patrol. I wonder what they came... They definitely... Uh, let me just try to get rid of them. All of that all of that on the floor is probably Rasketron's stuff. That means Rasketron was killed. Alright, I think I got rid of all of them. What on earth is going on? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh. Thank goodness he didn't notice me. Okay. This place doesn't feel really safe at all. Maybe it's safer for me to lock myself up in here just in case much more patrol, uh, much more pillager patrols come by just like the ones that attacked. Raskishon, I can't see from out here but it seems like it's already daytime. Let me just break these blocks from here. Oh, oh no, the trident is gone. Oh my goodness, I, I forget all about it. I should have removed it from there. Oh no, this isn't good. This can't be good. I need to get rid of them. I wonder what they did when they, when the trident fell. No lightning struck. So it didn't work. Let's see if I can get rid of these guys very quick and try to figure out what's going on here. Ooh, looks like there looks like there are more down there somewhere. Huh. I don't see anything straight. Where's the zombie? The, zo the zombie is not in here. Did it go? Did it work? Did it go somewhere? Or did they remove it? It doesn't seem like this was tampered with. Maybe it's invisible. Let me go inside and see if anything hits me. Nothing at all. What? Wait, what? Okay, what I want to know is where these pillagers are coming from. And it, from here, it looks like they're coming from that direction. So maybe if I fly over there, I can see the source of where they're coming from. Let's see. What's that? What's that? There they are. It, that looks. That looked like a. Oh no 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 no! I didn't. Oh, I didn't see that there. Fly 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 fly. Okay, some sort of platform is down there. I'm not sure what it is, but it's surrounded by the pillagers. And look, the trident is up there as well. They, they brought the trident over here. Did they actually do that? Can they do that? What's going on? This is so strange. That platform over there, I, 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 it's, it's very difficult to believe that mobs can actually set down blocks like that. The only one that I know can do that is our Endermen. Let me get rid of these guys because they're definitely coming after me. They don't like me. I need to retrieve the trident before it falls. If it falls then, well, we don't have a capsule right there. It's just some platform, some makeshift looking iron platform. 
Uh, the trident is all the way up there. If it falls, lightning will strike and it can possibly destroy this entire place because it's going to be very powerful. We can't afford for it to fall.